Introducing the Paddy Power World Dance Championships. Damon, congratulations, it's the third round. Some of that performance for us. Yeah, got the win, boy. Dishes are done, laundry is dry, the cockroaches are... You got it. Yeah, come back after Christmas, was that just the main aim, just get that first game out of the way? Yeah, 100%, yeah. I, uh, the build up to the Worlds is, is crazy, like, media just goes into meltdown and, and how you perform and all that and who's done what and this and that and who's the, who's the favourite and who cares, like, get through that first round, win's a win, like, Stats are just, yeah, people in their stats, they can, yeah, yeah happy days. So, yeah, you weren't at your best tonight, but does that not bother you? No, oh, no, nah. it's not bothered me all year because I've done things this whole year and not bor worried about stats. I've, I've been getting wins, I've been having fun, I've been doing this and that and, yeah, giddy up. It's all, it's all about me and what I do and how I present myself up there and, and own the stage and, and that's what it was. I feel like uh, Martin... He put a lot of pressure on himself, and I don't know why. It felt like he, yeah, put a lot of pressure, and where well, I didn't, I didn't feel that. I, I felt, yeah, just easy. It just at ease. That's yeah. So coming here this year as world number ten, is it a different feeling to previous years? No, because I've done the hard work to get where I'm at. That's that's it. Um, I've, I've I've had failures in the past. I've. I, I know what everything's about now, and, and like I said, I, I've learned my game, I've learned what I need to do, what needs to happen, and how I need to feel in, in different moments in games. So, yeah, things are just happening for me, and, and if they keep happening like they do, uh, yeah, I could go, uh, go so far, uh, 100%. Obviously, your goal will be to win this tournament, but have you set yourself a minimum target that you'd walk away from? I wouldn't say minimum. Just uh, just play the games how they come, and uh, I just want to I just want to do my best. I just want to do over the. I know I know I'm a consistent player. I know that. So it's going to take someone else to do the consistent same. If not, they have to do more, and it's up to them. I just feel I, I've put everything in to to be where I'm at and, I, and I've put everything in to, to know that I can do better and I can I can get to where I need to be and yeah it's I think it's up to everyone else and I just keep doing me. And will the hat be back for the walk next walk or have you got some? No look I've, I've stuck with something else eh? look it's just the one-off thing and and I think that's where it needs to be I mean I enjoyed it to be fair I think the crowd might probably enjoyed it as well I think the uh, the timing of the song I mean I need to have a word to them music guys to be fair they they really done me over there I uh, yeah <laughs> but no nah, look I got uh, I really like the other song that I've done before and it's just a sing-along I mean it's all for the crowd and all that and and if they're enjoying it I'm enjoying it and and the booze are gone and all that bizzo man I'm I'm stoked so uh, yeah I'll, uh, I'll look forward to my next one. Look forward to it. Cheers, Damon. Well done. Cheers. Damon, congratulations. We know you're a darts fan away from playing, so what's it been like having to wait seven days to get here and play when everyone else has done it? Oh, man, I've been watching. I've been watching. Yeah, there's no two ways about it. I mean, we've we've got a little side thing about who's winning, who's losing, and all that, and I don't want to go into that, to be fair. <laughs> but, no, it's... Uh, yeah, it, yeah it's, it, it's been good. I, uh, I enjoy the Worlds. Um, this is what you play for. This is what it's all about. Um, there's some players that don't watch, watch the darts and all that, but it's the world. Be involved. Be what it's all about. And that's me. I'm 110% I'm in and I come down really early. I am supporting the dudes. I'm supporting whoever and I'm just amongst it because I want to be amongst it. I'm all about it and, and I want results and I'm keen as a bean. I mean, obviously, you know, you've moved recently, practicing with Jim Williams. You've had Ben Rob with you for, for over a week. What, what's that whole dynamic been like in the build-up to the world? Oh, massive. I, I've been practicing like crazy, that's for sure. And I've been whipping them boys up like, no, tomorrow. And and if they tell you otherwise, they're lying. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, nah, look, yeah, Jim, he's got a nice setup. up uh, got a setup where I'm at. Great. Uh, ben Rob, you know, he's a, it's a learning curve for him. And, and he wants to do exactly what I'm doing. And, um, you know, I mean, if anything I, I can give, then I'm, I'm willing... Yeah, yeah, happy days. Go for it, boy. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just willing them boys on him and Opie. I hope they go for it. And yeah, we got we got a few more over here. And and yeah, just go for it. 
when two seeds fall early on in your session like they did in the first two games, what's the dynamic like in the practice room? Are you guys thinking, oh Christ, don't want to be another one? No, not really. I've not looked at that to be fair. Um, I did see, obviously I seen James Wade go out. That was a, uh, I was like, ooh, that was, a, that was a big one to be fair. I didn't, uh, I didn't expect it. Uh, but you're not looking at it. I think you just really focus on yourself and all you want to do is just get through to Christmas, pass that, that next minute you're in the game. You, you feel like you're in the game. I mean, it, it's such a nervy one, that first round, whether it's first round, second round, and, and you're a seed or not a seed. And uh, I just really feel that, uh, that's, a, that that's a big, accomplishment that now you can you can really focus Christmas for you is it a proper English Christmas dinner or are you more uh, yeah I'm going I'm going uh, <laughs> I've gone to uh, I think me Jim and uh, Jim's mate Jake's here I think we're having like a good family <laughs> good thing going on there and uh, nah I'm looking forward to that uh, yeah 100% but no no doubt I'll be on the board every day Dan congratulations Dan you talked about the fact that you've got both and, and Ben you've been working a little bit with that have you got a bit more of a mentor kind of side to you there I, I tell them everything I know. I tell them exactly what they need to know, what I what what I do, and it's what they take from it. It's up to them, and uh, yeah, it, it, yeah, it makes me feel really. It makes me feel really good that I can actually say these things and do these things, and and not only that, I I learn from that going, and it keeps me a little bit grounded. Going, you know what? That, that's where I was. That's that that's the things that they're doing. What I've done, and I've got to remember. That's that's exactly where I am, and and I want I want darts and the success more than anybody. Do people underestimate the year you've had, tenth in the world, free ranking, TV quarterfinals? That's not a bad year, is it? Oh, mate! It's, tell you what, it's been my best year, but yet it still gets talked down. You know what I mean? Like, what's up with that? <laughs> I don't understand. Like, it's been my best year, uh, ranking-wise, anyway. Uh, the year before, I, my stats, phenomenal. Um, that probably got talked down because I didn't do great in TV tournaments. Uh, the year before that, I, I didn't win anything, but still played well. Didn't get talked. My first year, I made two major quarterfinals in my first year. That got talked down as well. Like no one really talked about that. So I'm like, I've made this move and transition, but yet never really got the recognition. You could say, hey, you know what? That just makes me more hungry. That makes me fight more. That makes me go, and you know what? I want to shut up every hater. I want to shut up all these people that, like, the, the expectation of me is probably second to none. It, it, it really is. I think they put it up there like, oh, if he's top ten, he should be doing this. He should be doing that. Mate, four years in the game and I'm am where I'm at, I'm always appreciative where I'm at, so happy days. No better way to shut them up than by having a big run here? Yeah, mate, yeah, happy days, yeah. I, would, I wouldn't love anything more. Thank you very much. Cheers. Hey, mate. Um, back home, this was the late session, but ironically in Perth and in Sydney, like it's quite an honour to finish um, a session like this and there was so much talking about this session with a couple of young stars. It must have been good feeling to actually be able to, uh, to finish a session like that. Yeah, as long as, yeah, like yeah, family and friends and they can get up to watch this and uh, be a part of it. And uh, like I said, I've got a lot, I've got a lot of uh, I've got a lot of support back home, a great deal of support because there's only me and Simon at the moment, isn't it? I mean, you've got Ben, Rob and Opie and, but yet Australia wise, we've got me in, in the with but to push on and, and do things like this uh, it's what we need and we, we don't do we don't keep doing things like this then we, we start getting forgot about so I've got to keep this momentum going and uh, yeah and I'll, and I'll build it as much as I can. We know this isn't an Australia thing but the truth is that this representation this year we've only had three Australians here and that's the lowest there was a couple of years ago about that We've had GG in the past and obviously the late Kyle with us through this time, this championship time. Do you feel kind of a little bit of pressure to, you know, just to be that inspiration for the next generation, which which are out there, but people like Ray Smith are having to I think, encourage? I think it's, it's not the pressure of that I want to do that. It's uh, It comes along with everything. It's a selfish game. At the end of the day, it's a self. I'm here for myself. There's no two ways about it. So everything that comes along with it is Australia, and that's a massive bonus. I want to do that for that. Don't get me wrong, I do. 
but it's a massive bonus. It's a selfish game. I'm here for myself. Darts is very selfish, so th they do put a lot of pressure on. Uh, I mean, the outside noise is about uh, this country, that country, that country, and I, I sort of don't take that in as much as uh, as much as I should. And not, not that I should, that I don't want to. Because it is about me. It is about what I'll have to do. It, it, it's an individual game. So to, to play for Australia and and to get the results and and people start talking about that, that that's a massive bonus. And obviously I want to grow that stuff because if Simon didn't do what he does, who's to say we wouldn't have the World Series down there? We might not have. And, and I might not be here. And the things that Kyle done, I may not be here. So it, it, my hat's off to them guys. And uh, it... All I've got to do is just keep winning games and, and really be selfish about things because it will grow outside of my selfishness, you could say. You could say that, but you've always been part of teams. Obviously, Team Misfit was a part of your life when you got here. Um, there have been guys who have stayed with you that have really made it. Mac has obviously taken you in without officially taking you in. Uh, like That support network, both here and what you know back home, is really important to you as a person though, isn't it? Yeah, if it wasn't for Kyle, then I may not have slipped into that sort of category of the, the Mac Elkin crew. I may have just been sitting on that table over there by myself and not known actually what's going on. They took me in pretty quick um, and I just felt at home straight away. So if it wasn't for that, then yeah, who knows where I would be to be fair. And uh, I mean, I am a happy-go-lucky guy and, and I get along with everybody. And uh, well, I like to think I do anyway. <laughs> But nah, look, it, it, it's been a journey nonetheless for, for the last four years and yeah, I'm really excited for what the, what the future brings. Damon, you've made the third round of the World Championship now for the third year in a row. With what you've done this year and getting to world number 10, do you feel like you're better equipped now to, to go beyond and have a real run? Yeah, I've, I've learned like a ridiculous amount. Ridiculous. Uh, especially even this year. Like this year has probably been one of the one of the biggest stepping stones you could say because it's not when you're when you're on a free run and you're not defending and and you don't know anybody and things you, you're not thinking about anything you're playing some good darts and all that happens but once you uh once you're in the mix and you know people and you know things and so i feel this year has been a massive learning curve where i've had to enjoy the game enjoy myself being there and just taking every opportunity and really just dust off the losses because they they mean nothing you know what i mean they mean nothing you, you learn from that you move on all right, time to kick in, so, yeah. And just on that success this year, you've made four TV quarterfinals, including the World Cup. If you had a good run at the World Championship, could you put yourself in the frame for the Premier League next year? Oh, right. <laughs> I'm not really... I mean, the Premier League... I mean, it's massive, isn't it? The Premier League, I mean, it's, it's massive. You are... That's where, you, that's where everything happens for you, I feel like. You, you, you get the sponsorship, you get the acknowledgement, and, and you get the, the random people that don't know darts. They only know darts when they're Premier League players. And, and that's what I feel. So, I mean, if it was offered to me, there's no two ways about it, I would snatch it out of your hand. But at the end of the day, that's, that's not my biggest target, is it? It's me climbing them ranks, it's me winning a major, it's me doing these other things. Because everything like the Premier League, they come along. You know what I mean? They, they happen for you. And, and I feel that's just me. I mean, yeah, that's just how I feel. Introducing the Paddy Power World Darts Championships. Hey!